Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to say salam alaikum. <laughs> um, thank you so much. So, there is one part in the Quran that I really like. You guys are saying walaikum salam. Salam alaikum. I'm Muslim today. And I won't be dwelling on any of the negative comments below because really, why? Yeah, any like, so. It doesn't have anything to do with me. It has everything to do with them. And I finally found my home. I finally found where I belong, so. Why are you mad about that? That I returned home. Why are you mad about that? Check your heart, okay? Oh my gosh, this section from the Quran, this verse from the Quran is touching my heart, especially now that Alhamdulillah, I'm Muslim. This section here from Al Imran is touching my heart. It is. 3185 or Al Imran 185. And it's saying, Every human being is bound to taste death, and you shall receive your rewards in full on the day of resurrection. He who is kept away from the fire and is admitted to paradise will surely triumph. For the life of this world is nothing but an illusory enjoyment. Oof, that really hits hard. That hits harder now that I'm Muslim, honestly. Because, like, more, more than anything of this world, I've realized that my connection to Allah is number one. It's the most important thing in my life. My connection to Allah. And I have lived 25 years Thanks to God, Alhamdulillah. I've lived 25 years and I was searching for that missing piece. I've been searching for, for that piece in my heart for 25 years. I never found it in Christianity. I tried, but I was confused and and I I still I was missing that connection to God. I was I was believing, I was reading the Bible, I was doing all the things, and I was really opening up my heart. God, please guide me. But I, I never felt that that one-on-one -on -one connection, soul connection, soul, you know, fulfillment. But Alhamdulillah, I can't stop like getting teary-eyed when I think about how Allah, he guided me to Islam. After 25 years, um, he just guided me like a baby, <laughs> step by step, introducing me to Islam, introducing to me my, uh, to me my husband, and showing me how amazing Muslims are moving me to the Middle East in Dubai so I can see Muslims one-on-one, -on -one, have friends who are Muslims, and realize just how amazing Islam is. Fast forward to Palestine, this horrendous tragedy happening in Palestine. I was seeing these mothers holding their dead baby, okay? And saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Yeah, I need to know how. So I started reading the Quran two and a half weeks ago. And Alhamdulillah, I'm Muslim today because of the Palestinian people, because of the Muslims in my life who have showed me an amazing example of what it means to be Muslim. To my amazing husband who has always supported me and who never pushed me to become Muslim. And um, yeah, it's because of all those little things that added up. And that's why I became Muslim today. Uh, 
you know, one thing that, one thing I love about Islam is, is the continually, like the continual worship of Allah, like throughout the day, the prayers, the five prayers a day, continually worshiping Allah and having that connection to Allah throughout the whole day is so incredible. And um, it's so beautiful. And I, I, I just never, I never had that connection before. I never had that connection as a Christian personally. Um, and people will say that um, that's because you weren't a real Christian or that's because you didn't have the Holy Spirit or you didn't read the Bible. Um, I read the Bible, I, I, I prayed to God, I tried to find that. I tried to find that connection there, but I just, it wasn't there for me. And that just wasn't my path. Um, but I found my path now. I found my connection to God. And I feel like I'm home. Oh. Yeah, you know, the the couple hate comments that I get are nothing, nothing compared to how much support and love that is being poured on me from the Muslim community. Like, y'all, the hate comments have nothing on the Muslim community, the Muslim ummah. Just incredible. So, um, we are reading Quran as a Muslim. And I just want to say, um, um, Alhamdulillah for Megan Rice converting to Islam and Jack Attack converting to Islam. I'm so happy for both of them. And um, they paved the way um, for a lot of people who will inshallah join Islam because of them. And May Allah bless them and give them Jannah for their efforts in teaching people about Islam, about reading the Quran, and bringing so many people to the truth about Islam. I am here. Imagine I'm here in the Quran. I'm only in chapter 4, Surah 4. I'm in Surah and Nisa, Surah 4, and I'm Muslim today. <laughs> I didn't want to wait, okay? I didn't want to wait. So I got four surahs in and I couldn't, I couldn't stop myself, you know? I, I needed to make this shahada because halas, halas at Surah 4, I felt like I had become Muslim. So Alhamdulillah, only four surah, four chapters from the Quran, and I decided I need to become Muslim. I need to revert. <laughs> uh, you know, and a lot of a lot of Muslims have reached out to me and said that my journey in understanding the Quran and my journey in Islam has inspired them. And wow, like that is so incredible and so humbling. And it really means a lot. It really means a lot. And inshallah, I will, um, inshallah, I will learn more Arabic and um, hopefully be able to start learning the Quran in Arabic. But for now, I'm just reading the translation and it's just blowing my mind every day. And I am wearing hijab today. Yes, I'm wearing the hijab today. Um, I just took my shahada and so I just decided to try the hijab today. And I, one thing I loved about trying the hijab today was it's like an outward an outward way to show your beliefs as a Muslim woman. And I just feel that's incredible. Like there's no better way to show 
the world that you're Muslim, then wear the hijab, you know? So it's really incredible. It's, it's bringing together the women throughout the world, the Muslim women, by having the hijab, it's just showing the world right away that you're Muslim. So I think that's just amazing. Um, also, I love the feeling of wearing the hijab, walking down the street. I just felt, you know, so, um, I felt so like at peace and so, I felt like it was a crown on my head, you know? And people are saying you can't be Muslim if you can't speak Arabic. This is not true because Allah speaks all languages. Yes, the original Quran is written in Arabic, but that does not mean that you need to know Arabic to become Muslim. That is not true at all, okay? So I don't speak Arabic and Alhamdulillah, I'm Muslim. Um, today, so the shahada should be done in Arabic. The shahada should be done in Arabic, but it's only um, it's only a a small uh, sentence, so it's relatively easy to follow along. <laughs> and yeah, I um, I'm not an Arabic speaker, so that's why I have, I have a bit of an accent. Um, that's why I have a bit of an accent. People are saying I'm just jumping on the bandwagon. No, actually, I've been researching Islam for two years, around two years, Yanni. Um, my heart has slowly been opening to Islam for years now, ever since meeting my, my uh, husband who is Muslim and meeting people here in the Middle East who are Muslim and now finally opening the Quran for myself and reading and just feeling Allah opening my heart and my mind to understanding it. No, um, no, it's been a journey. It's been a process and it's definitely not just jumping on anything. <laughs> um, no, I finally found God. I finally found God. I finally found God and my husband will only have one wife, me, <laughs> and that is our agreement. And he actually is the one who doesn't want any other wives. And I also don't want any other wives for, our, <laughs> for him. So yeah, very simple, very straightforward. <laughs> you guys want to make everything complicated, like the hate comments. Why are you making everything so complicated? It's so simple. If you just look at the Quran and you just read it and, and you really try to understand it, it's so simple, okay? My husband has been Muslim since birth. He's from Egypt. He grew up Muslim. And I just reverted to Islam today from Christianity. And um, there are a lot of good Christians, but but apparently there are some Christians in the comments here that are a bit rude. And that is not what Christianity teaches. Um, I love how in the Quran it says there shall be no compulsion in religion. Because everything is laid out in the Quran, all of the, um, the proof is there. So if Allah opens their heart to understand the Quran, then inshallah they'll become Muslim. But there shall be no compulsion. My daughter just woke up. So I think I'm going to cut this live here. Um, yeah, I think I just heard her wake up. So I'm going to go grab her and I'm going to end this live and just say thank you. And Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.